Oh, we're going to the library? All right. Well, the library is going to have to wait because welcome to Crazy Corner of the City! Oh, All right. You guys want to play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course you do. All right. Who do I have with me? I'm Cliff. Erica. Okay, okay, Cliff and Erica, I hope you've been brushing up on your music library because today's game is Crazy Core Karaoke! Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. okay. Here's how we'll play. We'll have three different rounds of karaoke, but with a twist. For round one, I'm going to sing a song, but I can only say na na na. If you guess the song first correctly, you'll win the round. But if you guess incorrectly, you'll lose the round. Try to guess the song fastest. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Na 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 All right, this is your redemption round, Cliff. Round two. For this round, I'm gonna sing normally, but you'll be wearing noise-canceling headphones. Here you go. All right, so since you're wearing noise-canceling headphones, you'll have to read my lips in the mirror. Huh? Whoever gets it first, whoever gets it first wins. It what first? Okay, are you ready? My lips. Yeah. All right, <laughs> here we go. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. She be coming around the She be coming the one or something huh? say. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle, jingle, little star. Just to ride a one or open sleigh. Santa Claus is coming to town. Dashing through the snow. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle bells, Good job, you all right. I really um, thought I was gonna get that one right. Now. Yeah, I thought you might do better too. All right, this is your redemption round. Here we go. Round three is classroom quiz. Okay, I am gonna play a song on a classroom instrument. If you guess correctly, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, take your headphones. Oh, oh, get them. Take them off. Take them off. Sorry. All right, I'll say it again now that you can hear me. Okay, I am gonna play a song on a classroom instrument. If you guess correctly, you win. Guess it incorrectly, and you lose. All right, are you ready? Yeah! Woo! All right, okay, here we go. He's not ready. I'll <laughs> talk. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, it's no, not Twinkle not. Twinkle Little Stars. It's the it, ABC. All right, Erica, you're the winner. Would you like to give us a little bit of an acceptance speech? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, family, everybody. I love you so much. All right, thank you for playing Crazy Car in the City. Time to go to the library. It's cool. What's up, everybody? I'm Miles, and I'm excited to explore the city, meet new people, and discover more about the armor of God. There's something inside of you that needs to be protected at all costs. It's your heart. You know, the thing inside of you that beats about 72 times a minute and keeps your body moving? Yeah, super important. It's why soldiers, police officers, and even superheroes wear some seriously protective gear over their hearts. But I'm talking about a different kind of heart, and it has nothing to do with mushy things like Cupid or falling in love. <laughs> There's way more to this heart than that. It's actually the place deep inside where all your feelings, desires, and attitude come from. It tells you who you are and guides your choices. And that's why it's so important to keep it protected. Enter the armor of godliness. This vital piece of God's armor helps us know what God says is right about who we are, how we feel, and what we should do. And we can put it on over our hearts just by reading God's word every day. When we wear the armor of godliness, God protects our hearts 
and he gives us power to stand against the devil and do what's right. Everybody, get on your feet. It's time to sing. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. First things first, got the belt of truth. Put on my boots, gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God First things first, you got the belt of truth Put on my boots, I gotta tell the good news The armor of God and the shield of faith Got my sword and my helmet, now it's time to pray Put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one Put on Full armor of God, the full armor of God. I put on the full armor of God, stand strong against the evil one. I put on the full armor of God, the full armor of God. Now in faith we can stand, stand, stand against every evil plan, plan, plan. Now it's time to be strong, strong, strong. He has won. I put on the full armor of God. Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God I put on the full armor of God Stand strong against the evil one I put on the full armor of God The full armor of God Great singing. You can take a seat. It's time to play Fun Bus Trivia. Which of these cities has the tallest building? A. Beijing B. Dubai C. New York City Or D. London Shout out your best guess. Dubai is home to the mega-tall skyscraper Burj Khalifa. It has 163 floors and is as tall as 150 giraffes. It's time for our next question. The world's largest stadium can be found in which city? A. Dallas B. Barcelona C. Pyongyang Or D. Rio de Janeiro Let's hear your best guess now. Pyongyang hosts the Regrondo 1st of May Stadium, said to hold up to 150,000 sports fans. Well, ready for one last question? Which city should you visit to find the highest stray cat population? A. Istanbul B. San Francisco C. Cairo Or D. Amsterdam Shout it out! Cat lovers will want to visit the feline capital of the world, Istanbul, sometimes known as the City of Cats or Catstanbul. Great job playing our game! God's people, the Israelites, had disobeyed God. Because of that, God allowed their enemies, the Midianites, to come and take over their land. The Israelites were so scared of the Midianites that they went and hid in caves. The Israelites needed help, so they prayed to God and asked Him to help them. The Bible tells us that God sent an angel to talk to a man named Gideon. Gideon was hiding in the caves, too, because he was also afraid of the Midianites. The angel greeted Gideon by saying, Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. Gideon knew how badly he and his people had been treated. He said to the angel, You say the Lord is with us. Then why has all of this happened? The angel said, You are strong. Go and save Israel. Gideon didn't agree with what the angel was saying. How can I possibly save Israel? I'm not strong or important. But God promised to be with Gideon and to give him victory. Later that night, God spoke to Gideon and told him to tear down the altar that was built to one of the false gods named Baal and the pole that was built to worship the false god Asherah. 
Gideon was supposed to build the right kind of altar, where people could worship the one true God. Even though Gideon was scared, he believed that God would protect him and he could do the right thing. So Gideon waited until it was nighttime and then went out and did exactly what God told him to do. When everyone woke up the next morning, they could not believe their eyes. The altar to Baal was demolished and the Asherah pole was cut down. In its place was a new altar for worshiping the one true God. God used Gideon to do great things and gave him the power he needed even when he was scared. Sometimes it can be scary or hard to do what's right. That's because even though we can't see it, there's a spiritual battle taking place between God and the devil over the hearts of each person on earth. God has given us his armor to protect us and gives his power in the middle of this battle. When we put on the armor of godliness, it will protect our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing and give us the power to do what's right. We can put on the armor of godliness. Put on the armor of godliness. Everybody get on your feet. Let's play red light, green light. Listen for the motion and when you see the green light, do it as fast as you can. When you see the yellow light, take it into slow motion. But when the light turns red, everybody stop. Ready? Round one. Hop on one foot. Round two. Jog in place. Round three, jumping jacks. Great job, you can take a seat. Go, and I'm Joe Miller, coming to you live each and every day as I take to the streets to give you all the deets. Today is going to be shredded. We're going to catch up with professional skateboarder Carter Collins. How cool is that? Check out what we're all about today. Carter? What's up, Joe? I'm so stoked to see you. Yo, those tricks were killer. Oh, yeah? You saw that triple set trick with an ollie slide? Um, I think so. <laughs> Whatever it's called, those moves are so crazy. Did it take you forever and a day to learn how to do all of that? I was born to shred, but definitely spent a lot of time learning the tricks of the trade. And I bet everyone thinks you are so cool. In fact, I have done some research. As a reporter does. Well, and I found out that you have at least 50 different protégés. For the people on the other side of the camera, explain what that means. Sure. Well, a, a protégé is just a fancy word for people who think that what you do is rad and they want to learn from you. That's beyond cool that so many people are wanting to follow your lead. How did that even happen? I've been skating for a long time, and I started hanging out with some other dudes that loved to skate too. I was chilling with them, and then I started to notice that they were doing and saying some things that were the opposite of cool. Oh, really? Explain for us what was going down. Yeah, so, so here's an example. I was doing a tray flip down a three stair, right? And when I was done, I noticed some of the guys were over there by the quarter pipe saying some straight up bad words. Ooh, that is not good. What'd you do about that scene? It got pretty gnarly. The newer guys started following along. 
It started with bad words and stuff and eventually got way worse. They were excluding others and messing with different skaters' equipment. Tons of stuff that God wouldn't be cool with. Negative influence all over the place. Sounds like that was not top tier. You're right. And I had a choice to make. I could take my board and bail, or I could join in and act like they do. I could either fit in, or I could take a stand for what was right. It can be so hard to stand up and do the right thing. I've actually been reporting about the armor of God lately, and Carter, this whole sitch sounds like a perfect opportunity to put on the armor of godliness. That's the piece that protects our hearts from wanting to do the wrong thing while helping us have the power to do the right thing. I'm sure everyone is dying to know, what did you end up doing? It was hard to take a stand against those guys. I mean, they were pretty cool, and I wanted them to like me, and I wanted them to skate with me. But I remembered that the devil uses other people that can be bad influences to turn our hearts away from God. Because I wanted to do what God says is right, I put on the armor of godliness and took a stand against the devil. I talked to those dudes, and you know what? It ended up being cooler than a 1080 flip. They realized that what they were doing was wrong, and they changed their ways. So by taking a stand and doing what was right, they saw how they should act out here at the park and now they follow your lead. Awesome! Hey Carter, thanks for hanging with us today and showing us exactly what the armor of godliness looks like in action. Totally. Well, that's it for us today. Join us next time for Joe on the Go. I can't wait to see who we will meet next. Put on the armor of godliness. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to sing. singing, you can take a seat. Let's review what we've learned today. Try to memorize the cards before the timer runs out. Time's up. Which number has the match? Shout it out. You found the first match. True or false, the armor of godliness does not have real power because it's invisible. False. Even though we can't see the armor of godliness, 
It gives us God's power to protect our hearts and help us do what's right. Let's find the next match. Find the match. Shout it out. You got it. Here's our next question. In today's Bible story, when Gideon was scared, did he still choose to obey God? Yes, God gave Gideon power to do what was right and build a new altar, even when he felt scared. Let's find another one. Which number has the match? Shout it out. It's time for one more question. Josh's friend asks to see his answers during a test. How can Josh put on the armor of godliness? By telling his friend no or by letting him cheat? Josh can use God's power to help him say no even when it's hard. Putting on the armor of godliness protects our hearts from doing the wrong things and gives us the power to choose what God says is right. Great job playing our game. Everybody say this together. Every day, I will put on the full armor of God. I put on the belt of truth. To fight the devil's lies. I put on the armor of godliness. To protect my heart and do what's right. I put on the good news boots. To tell others about Jesus. I hold up the shield of faith. To block what the devil sends my way. I put on the helmet of salvation. To remember God always loves me. I hold up the sword of the spirit. God's word is my best weapon. Now, now I, I stand, stand firm, firm and pray. Hey God, thank you for giving us the armor of godliness to protect our hearts. We know it gives us the power to do what's right. We love you, amen.